How's it going everyone? Welcome back to World of Tanks with Super BV. And today we have Jerud the Fabulous. Again, uh, I don't have very many... I don't have very many replay uh, people can... Well, I don't have very many replays on hand. I only have Jerud's. Uh, but he's in his OI Experimental on Mountain Pass. I couldn't think of the name of this map here. Anyway, he is in he is in his OI experimental and he has the 100 105 millimeter. Hmm, for a second I thought that this tank had a 10 150. Oh, Mr. Stewart. I know you got mad because you stopped right in front of Jerud the Fab here and he rammed you, but I know you're mad. <clears throat> so anyway, Mountain Pass, very nice tier 5 match battle. Uh, he's going to have a very nice result here. There he goes saying sorry to the uh, to the steward there for ramming him. Even though it wasn't Jerud's fault here. The OI Experimental is a very... It's one of those tanks where... It... <laughs> You just, you just do good no matter what really you do. So coming around here, he's advancing on the 1 and 2 line. And a surprise hit from a Stug. Well, you know what? Have that, you not. You. And another hit there from that Stug 3. We're going to finish him off there. You know, casually. 350 damage already. That steward is still doing his thing back there. Anyway, coming around this corner here, the team is doing very well. It's 4-2 to two already, and we're, like, not even three minutes into this match here. Actually, we're just o over two minutes here. Coming around this corner here, and we run into a Toldy 3 and a Churchill 3. The Churchill 3 actually starts penning him with AP, so... Obviously, he knows where to shoot. Bounces off the Churchill 3 gun mantle. Or the side of the turret, I should say. But the next shot does not miss. Now, this Toldy know what, knows what to do. He knows to get underneath the gun depression of the OI. Because these Jap... He... Well, these Japanese heavy tanks are very well like they're like they don't have very good gun depression and he picks up his fourth kill on the m4 sherman but what's this a foe a oi experimental on the enemy team we're gonna have to see about that advancing into well into the start of the enemy base and there's a covenanter tier 4 british light tank we're just going to have to uh, obliterate him. He didn't actually get the kill there. The Churchill 3 got him. And the Panzer 1C obliterates the Vespa. Ooh, 402 damage. Not the greatest roll. But you know what? We're going to have... Actually, we're not going to have him because the T-67 just killed him. And that's that. That's the uh, po That's the game. Now we're just, we're going to jump into the post battle results screen so I'll see you over there. Okay, here we are on the post battle results screen. Uh 36,000 silver earned. <laughs> That's a lot of silver. Uh he walked away with 31,000 with all of the costs that he had. Uh he fired 9 shots, direct hits 9, 8 penetrations, the only bounce that he go that he had was on the uh, that Churchill three there. Uh, he did set one thousand seven hundred and twenty seven damage. He received well. He took damage blocked by armor. He received three hundred and seventy five damage blocked. Uh, hits received twelve. Penetrations five. Non penetration seven. Uh, very very tough tank here. 
he did he did top on damage done for his team. Like I said, 1,727. And he got the most kills out of the entire game. But look at these zero damages. And look at these less than 100. Now, to be fair, this M4 Sherman and Churchill 3 were both killed by Giroud the Fab here in his OI Experimental. Which, you know, he cut, his, he cut their games uh, fairly short. I would have to say. Anyway, with that being said, let's move on to the next replay because I do have a few here from him again. Okay, everyone. Welcome back. Well, I say welcome back, but hello, everyone, again. And we are back with our... We're back in our second replay. This time, Drew the Fab is in his Tiger 1 on a very nice Tier 7 game on the Swamp map. Now, the Tiger. I really enjoyed the Tiger. Uh, I have the E100 on, because I... I pfft, speak, Devin, speak. I play World of Tanks on the Xbox. I now and then jump back, jump onto the PC edition. But I have the E100 on Xbox, so... And I really enjoyed playing the Tiger 1. It was a very nice vehicle for me. Now, Giroud does not have the, uh, the one, the long 88, like that tiger does in front of him. One dusty guy up there does have the long 88. Uh, Giroud does not. But, you know, that doesn't actually make it a bad tank. Because it still has, well, it's 132 penetration isn't the greatest penetration, to be honest. But, it's a tier 7. So, it's going to, you know, it's going to go through the front of most tanks that he's going to meet. And with 100 millimeters of frontal armor, I mean, it's not, you know, the greatest amount of armor. And I wouldn't, you know, try and go up against, like, machines like the Jag Panther SU-152 T-29. Especially if those guys have the top gun. But, if you angle enough, you can bounce, you know, the Cromwell, the Type 58, AT-8, KV-1S... T1 heavy machines like that unless they unless you don't have get the side so Giroud is moving up to the 1 2 and 3 line over here and he's gonna start his game here over here he does have the upgraded turret as you can obviously see which may boosts his health point up to 1500 so first target spotted is the T29 on the enemy team the tiger up here takes a shot. This is actually a really good, uh, lucky shot. He punt. He puts one into the, to the, the little cupola on the top of the tank, which is a nice sh lucky shot. Can he sneak another one in? He's trying to angle side scrape against that T29, but the side armor on the tiger is not the greatest. So let's see how he plays out. Angling here again. Puts a shot into him, but at the same time, the T-29 finds a shot into Giroud here, which damages his engine. This game isn't even a minute... Well, it's about a minute and a half over that he goes fixes his engine. I would rather have an en a good engine over a slightly busted track. Uh, he's already at 648 damage. Now, okay. He took damage from that T1 Heavy. And as you can see from the uh, from the damage panel down there, that was a high explosive. So the T1 Heavy is firing high explosive. But I guess that's really the only way that the T1 Heavy can actually damage the Tiger without, you know, getting to the sides. And also, what gun... I can't tell which gun that T1 Heavy is using from this angle. Oh, preemptive fire there. The KV-2 picking up his second kill of the game. We're going to see a lot more of that KV-2 as this replay continues. Six six. The scores are not looking very good here. Ah, he preemptively fires. So 
So now he turns around because, you know, this side of the map, the 8, 9, and 0 line are, and there's that looks raging in chat early, or, uh, from earlier. The 8, 9, and 0 line has completely crumbled. Uh, they've lost pretty much all tanks on that side there. Uh, the, you can see that SU-152, you know, digging in, digging his life in. Or digging in and preparing to, you know, sell his life to the enemy team. Cromwell's, you know, battering that T-3485. I'm going to go into fixed camera view for a second here just so we can see where he's aiming. Now, he was originally, well, from what it looks like, he was originally going for the... Bounced off the frontal armor of the Egg Panther there. Wait for it. There we go. Secures the kill. And there's that Cromwell again. Cromwell just killed the SU-152. Jarud puts a nice shot into him. 216 damage. And the KV-2 picks up his third kill of the game. Finishing off that Cromwell. We're going to see... Be, well, like I was saying before, we're going to be seeing more of that KV-2 in a bit here. Type 58. You can kill him in one shot, so finish him off. They're going to remove that one extra gun from the game, which is always good. That's how I usually play World of Tanks, is if there's an enemy tank, if there's a tank that can be killed, I always go for the killing blow. Because it just removes that one extra gun from the game. There's in that AT-2. The scores are looking really good now. Puts another shot into the SU-152. KV-2 finishes off the SU-152. Securing his fourth kill of the game. Giroud's getting his angling back together here. Kind of fell apart there. Derps went into the front of the AT-8. You're not going to pen it. Yes, go for the Kipola. The Kipola right here. This big, big, big thing on the top of the AT-8. If you, if you are ever up against the AT-8, shoot here. Shoot this, you know, big turret thing on the top of the vehicle. There we go. Gets one in. AT-8 is pummeling him right now. And this SU-101 pulls out in front of him. Thanks. Thanks for that. KV-2 picks up his fifth kill of the game. And the Tiger-1 on the enemy team shuts down the KV or the SU-101. 100M1, I should say. Artillery just now, just then, put a shot in. Bounces a shot from the, or bounces off of the front of the enemy, enemy Tiger 1. The enemy Tiger 1 does not bounce off of Jerud. Jerud is now down to 393 hit points worth of health. So he's, KV2 uh, puts one into him. Unfortunately, that's where the KV2's game comes to an end. But now, that gives Giroud time to put a shot into the enemy Tiger. And another shot there. 153 health left. The, sh the artillery shotguns him. Does not... Lucky... That Tiger is n lucky not to die from that SU-8 there. But Giroud punches his ticket. And now, we are down to a 1 versus 1 engagement. Giroud here in the Tiger 1 against that M41 HMC on the enemy team. The Tier 5 American Artillery. Now, what are we going to do? Now, when I first initiated, because I've watched this replay now for a couple of times, and a couple of things were rolling through my head. One, Giroud here could, you know, go back to his base here and try and defend, you know, lay an ambush, uh, get an ambush ready for in case that, you know, M41 there decides to come back and cap 
Or Giroud could go to the enemy base and uh, try and cap out before the enemy M41 can cap out on his base. Now, what you're about to see is a little bit of confusion on Giroud's part. Uh, he should have just, for, uh, from what you're about to see, he should have just either stuck with one or the other. What you're what you're gonna see is him being very confused and you know driving back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. T thirty four eighty five is telling Giroud here to move because of artillery, and that's a uh, another thing that I want to point out there is that Giroud is on a one shot kill for the M forty one. So he's guarding, he's going back, he's gunning it back to base. And people are telling him, no, what are you doing? Go to the enemy base. And so Drew, okay. <clears throat> people are telling him to cap. And you know, and you know, to be honest, also that, uh, that, uh, SU calling. Giroud here, D Trump is driving. Now, to be fair, if he if he immediately started going to the enemy base after he killed that Tiger 1, he could have made it there. Kind of a bit of a spoiler there, but not too much, I would say. And now Giroud's thinking, hold up. And you can see him there in chat. Hmm. Where would you be? And another good point that Giroud made there, the M41 is going to be faster than him. He's got a he's got two broken tracks here. Giroud does, and you know he's not going to get up to the 40 kilometer per hour speed limit. Well, not very easily at least. So he decides, okay, you know what? I'm going to go back to base. But then, the Chaffee was the Chaffee's like, okay, well, go to the enemy base and make the RD show itself. It's like, okay, well, that could be, and the SU-100M1 is, you know, starting to rage and chat there a bit. Uh, actually, SU-100M1, no, actually, because <clears throat> we're about to see here in a bit. And yes, I know, a little bit more spoiler. I'm sorry. <clears throat> and so, okay, fine. Drew decides, okay, I'm going to go to the enemy base. So I'm going to speed this up here a little bit here by two times. Just so we don't have to sit and watch just driving for a bit. And boom, the artillery enters our cap circle. So now Giroud has to, and you know what? It was probably the be better idea to uh, to sit in ambush because the M41 would just would have drove right up to him and he would have had a chance to, you know, take him out of the game and win. So I'm once again I'm gonna speed this thing speed it up just a tad. SU one hundred M one is the cap going faster or is it just me? And the KV two? Just you. Okay, there's a little bit of a glitch in the in the top there with it. It says that there's two in the cap circle, but there really is just only one. Unless that was just me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go into fixed camera view because I just want to I want to show what's going on. I want to show what's what he's doing. Now, okay. Now, you can one-shot him with this, but it's it damage the average damage is 220, so there's a pretty good chance that you'll even still one-shot him. I would have been tempted to load a high explosive. Because high explosive would be a guaranteed 
da a guaranteed kill. Uh, and with 44 millimeters of penetration, the only problem is, is 44 millimeters of, of penetration, I don't think is going to be enough to get through the M41's uh, sloped armor because it has just has a very minor sloping of armor. So I would have been tempted to load a high explosive there. Giroud probably did the right thing and load a an armor piercing round, but it doesn't matter. Wait for it to aim and kill. Giroud wins the game. So now we're going to go and take a look at the post-battle results screen. So I'll see you over there. Okay, everyone. Now that we're here, over here in our uh, post-battle results screen, you can already see right here, Ace Tanker in the Tiger 1. I would be surprised if this wasn't an Ace Tanker game. Uh, we have Hand of God, survive the, and win the battle having received damage from at least four different enemy tanks. Bruiser, Fighter, Fire for Effect, Steel Wall. He did t take, he did take damage, or uh, his damage block, blocked by armor was 360. He, mu he must have took some... Uh, uh, th well, that was a 36,000 silver game here. Uh, he did walk away with 18,000 after all the resupply and stuff. He did come first on damage received, but not first on damage or er, uh, kills gotten. I need to make a shout out to this KV2 here. Uh, he was a very, well, he was a, he knew what he was doing. Let's just say that. So... <laughs> Let's just take a look at uh, Drew here, and then we'll take a look at that KV2. Uh, shots fired, 25. Direct hits, 20. Penetrations, 16. He did bounce a couple shots th in that game. Uh, damage, 3,169 damage. Hits received, 14. Penetrations, 8. Non-penetrations, 6. Um, yeah, he did pretty good in that game. Now, I'm going to take a look at that KV2, because Black Timber 1, you did, or, sorry, not Black, Cloud Cun, that was the guy who killed you, I'm sorry, uh, fired, shot, fired 11 shots, uh, direct hits, 10, penetrations, 10, damage, he did 2,661 damage, uh, hits received 3, penetrations 3, he didn't actually take a lot of hits there, but you know, tier seven game. Uh, most of those hits are going to pen the KV too. So yeah, great job, Giroud, but also great job to the KV too. Anyway, let's move on to our final replay of the day, shall we? Okay, everyone, welcome to our final replay. And today we have a triple platoon. Uh, Giroud the Fabulous, Maverick Bus, and... JD Dragon. Uh, all in their tier 3 tanks. Panzer 1C, LTP, and Giroud in his BT7 artillery. Now, this isn't just a replay that is. Uh, it's just not focusing around Giroud here. It's focusing on his entire platoon. Because they are in a very crappy tier 5 game. Uh, you can see an OI experimental up there. M4 Sherman, Matilda 4, Panzer 3 4, you know. And JD Dragon su suggests, oh hey, let's insta cap. Challenge accepted. Let's roll out, guys. Druid here giving uh, Maverick Bus a little push here. Maverick Bus taking a little damage there, but... Scores are not looking... Well, scores right now aren't looking very good. They're about to get worse. <laughs> we have Maverick... Well, we have Drew the Fabulous in the cap. We have Maverick Bus in the cap. And we have... The entire platoon right now is in the cap. There are three plus... Three plus of them, well, 
There's four of them right now in the cap, and, well, we're about to have five. that OI Experimental taking off half of his health from that. And the scores are not looking very good. It's 1-4. A JD Dragon saying, you guys didn't want it, right? And that is game. This game would have been a resounding defeat if JD Dragon, Maverick Bus, and Jerud the Fab here wasn't in this game. This game would have been a loss for these guys, for this team. Great job, guys. Great job, uh, this platoon. JD Dragon, Maverick Bus. Jerud here. Good job uh, being super sneaky and yeah, let's go and take a look at the battle the battle result screens, guys. Okay, here we are, the post-battle result screen. Battle efficiency, Jerud did nothing. <laughs> team score, look at this team. Look at this. This was going to be an absolute bummer of a defeat if, well, the platoon wasn't in there. Maverick Bus, JD Dragon, and Jerud. Uh, but it turned out to be a win. Let's go and take a look at the detailed reports. Uh, he received 5,719 credits. Auto repair to the vehicle, 2. Auto resupply ammunition, 38. He only fired one shot, and that was at that against that building there. Uh, he walked away with 5,678 credits. He received 197 XP in that game and the battle duration was two minutes and four seconds that was a very quick game and it was a win it turned out to be a win anyway guys if you've enjoyed these replays at all uh you know hit that subscribe button for for more if you're new uh if you like my stuff or just want to you know support me go ahead and do that uh, share the video if you liked it and all that good stuff. Uh, watch your six, everybody. Have fun, whatever you're playing, and I will see you next time. Super Baby, signing out.